since my friend said that they were available tomorrow for the day, I just got to drop everything and drive out to pick up some new lights for his Evo. And then I'm overthinking everything about you. And I feel bad. Look at all these boxes. Whoa! Turns out there's no aftermarket Evo 8 headlights. Looks like now we're gonna do taillights, modify the stock Evo 8 headlights. What things you like and what you don't How's it going, guys? Hey. Yeah, nice to see, see you, dude. Nice to meet you. I seen you. Since I know I, I seen you before. You the first time. <laughs> this is Kevin. Yes, sir. You know we Ooh. should work it out. Couple little things for you, like questions. We can leave or remove those amber lenses. I feel like if you have two competing colors, like black on red looks dope, yeah. black on orange looks dope, but black on orange with red doesn't yeah. look dope. <laughs> so. How can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit? Got the bumper off, we're taking the headlights off right now. Almost there. If we go full black on everything inside, and then we throw the, do a color changing demon eye. Put the same exact OEM type sealant in there that will keep these things from letting any water or anything like that get in. And it's pretty easy to work with, so. Perfect. I'll show you. I'm just gonna stick this one in the oven. We've got a couple wood blocks that we'll stick it on for about five minutes at 240 degrees. If you look at the tabs that are on there, a lot of times there's a screw that'll go in there also. But if there's not, then it basically tells you that this thing is 100% held in place just by the sealant and by kind of the shape of the light. So since we know that corner is kind of like tucked in, I wouldn't want to start from this because then I'd be kind of like fighting against the plastic. But if you look on this side, there's nothing that'll keep it there in place besides these little tabs. So as soon as that light comes out, I want to bend those tabs up really quick because they're soft. If I try to do it right now, they'll snap. I'll bend them up really quick and then I can just yank it apart. Ooh, I can smell whatever was sprayed on these things when they were cleared up recently. All we have to do is bend these little guys up while they're nice and warm. They actually could be warmer, so we might even put this back in. Whichever way it'll sit without touching any metal or the sides or anything like that, so. So Dustin's actually opening a set of lights. I did the first one, he's doing the second one. I actually think it's really cool to see somebody else opening lights. Let's check them out. I'm gonna break something down. Think buff dots, bro. All right, so this side, this side's off. Now you just gotta keep checking out those tabs every single time you go to another section. There you go. Look at me. This is Flyride 2.0. I said I needed an intern, and then this dude just showed up and was like, hey, can I work on some lights? So, you know, it's working. Thanks, brother. There you go. We're making oh, I moves. You. I got you. Making moves. Oh. Oh. Are we good? Don't decide. Are we open? You're open. Doctor's in, baby. You're cured. <laughs> Let's go. There it is. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. <Yeah>. stuck. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> I'm molted to the light. <laughs> if you don't take this off, you can't get to that bolt to loosen up the projector. steps, you know. Hey, it works. So, these demon eyes will actually be changing colors, so it's not only going to be red, it'll be all, like all the different colors. I can change it from my iPhone, which is really cool. A few moments later. You know, it sucks if they didn't have it. All right, we want 
Low gloss black. Engine enamel is the stuff. It's actually been a long time since I came to O'Reilly to buy paint, but I used to buy them here all the time. So for years when I was building lights in the garage, we'd step through the process with scuffing the part and then doing the adhesion promoter and then it's a low gloss black paint so it looks satin catches the light cool ways dries really quick it's easy to work with it's easy to shoot so it's not what i do now it's not what jack uses or the body shops that we use obviously they paint with professional automotive grade paint but man if you're just doing this stuff on your own set of lights that's the way to go it's easy win so that's what we're gonna do this is, this is the old school <laughs> this is fly ride, ride 1.0 instead of having any kind of a special scotch bright pad or this is like household stuff this is what everybody has access to you can do this in your backyard big dirty piece of wood to paint on a couple of cans of paint scuff it ever so slightly and then the adhesion promoter is going to go on top of that and some black paint dude's got the lawnmower going in the background this is perfect yeah i'm just gonna go after it so all that this is going to do is it's gonna stick to that part better, especially because we lightly scuffed it. It's gonna get into those little tiny scratch marks and kind of grab it. And then the paint is gonna grab onto this. If you don't do that, and if you paint too quickly and put too many layers on top of each other, the paint can crinkle and kind of like, it's just bad. You don't want crinkling paint. I like to do at least two really light coats before a final coat. Yeah. And you want to get into all the areas on your first coat that are kind of in there. This is the stuff that when we see a lot of like first time builds, they just miss everything, right? Eventually. This little corner does not want to go in without a fight. Cool. That was perfect. All right. Gangster. Let's go turn these things on and make sure that everything fires up how it should. I want a truth here, dude. Why not? Very nice. Ooh. Turn that Damn, that's so sick. I don't know why it just looks extra awesome on this type of light. It looks so good. On a lot of lights, it doesn't shine quite as consistent as this, but from every angle, that looks really, really good. Dude, that red is so sick. Yeah, I would rock that red all the time. Cool thing is too, on the Bluetooth controller, we'll set it up so that as soon as you turn on power, it'll automatically go to red. Yeah, wait, click, click. Oh, uh, there's a flash. There it goes. Oh, that guy. Oh, there you go. Cool. Oh, what? There it goes. What? Just swapped these two wires, but this is gnarly. And they weren't soldered or anything, they were just cut, twisted together, and taped over. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Alright, let's let her rip. Turn it back on and she has running light. Nice. Signal? Got it. Got it. This is my favorite controller. The green's kinda dope. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is you know, fly ride, email, Instagram, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, well, thank you. Damn, dude, this is XK Glow, I can tell you, you did a good job on your software. Dustin's pumped. <laughs> He's gonna be playing with that app a whole bunch. But um, Demon Eyes look amazing while they're controlled by the XK Chrome. If I helped you in any way, comment below, let me know. And the other thing too is that we're doing a contest to give away those JDM taillights. So any of you guys that wanna watch this, put it to use and do it on your own car. Do that, submit some pictures to us, and you'll win some cool free stuff. So go customize some lights, enjoy, subscribe to the channel, and keep going. Damn, who's, who's dope red Civic is that though? Hey. Yay! Yeah. I think the funniest thing is that Dustin told me a setting on my camera that is gonna make every single fly ride video look better because I have it on automatic mode. <laughs> I was trying to be fancy. Apparently, if you do this stuff every day, you get better at it, and that was clear, because my man Dustin, he's a cool cat. And we're gonna do these taillights for him. We took these off his car, we're gonna slice them open, teach you how to do it, show you the different parts and the tools that we use. 
We're gonna do a lot more stuff, so shout out to Sean and Dustin for coming out. I appreciate you guys big time and look forward to doing more soon. So that was honestly such a fun day. I want my life to be like that. I want to be able to do fun projects, make content every single day, hang out with fun people, and um, I don't know, just be on the road, do things here at the shop. That's all I want, and I think a huge part of making this content is about being able to document that, and chase that down, and I guess help other people do the same thing. So having said that, I have a huge shout out to my boy, Kevin. You're the man, thank you for coming out. Everybody, you're gonna see a lot more of Kevin soon. He is taking the intern position here at Flyride. We're gonna be making a lot of content together, going places, filming stuff, just having a blast. So I couldn't be more excited. Thank you, brother. Also, thank you to our friends at USR for kicking down the tail lights. We're gonna give you guys a dope promotion code to save you 20% off lights over the next few days. And when that goes live, me and Dustin are both going to announce it. So if you guys want discounts, you want cool content that teaches you how to do stuff, and you just enjoyed this, then pound that like button. Come on, pound it. Do whatever you want, just push it. And I will see you next time. Thank you.